Hello everybody and welcome on board this Hansa 320 for a look around her interior in detail to give you an idea of where things are, what they look like and what kind of space she is. So as you can see, well I'm standing a bit around midships in the saloon looking aft towards a companionway to give you an idea what it might be like to clamber up and down at sea or alongside and uh, while we have we have a step up here from the cockpit or a lid a ledge uh, we do have two nice handles to come down to and uh, once we get down here we've got the edges to grab onto here or the fiddles etc and then we can go over to the compression post so plenty to hold on to as you're traversing the companionway now the companionway itself does form part of the engine room so as you can see we've got four steps going down there really nice easy one-handed operation to lift that up there we go and then you've got access to the engine room and as you can see it does look actually very nice and clean in, in there so uh, on the port side here we've got access from the heads starboard side there we've got access from the uh from the aft cabin so uh, very nice and good access all around and it looks like we can unclip the front here also to get access to the lower front of the engine itself very nice and again nice one-handed action to put back so good and easy to check at sea if you're under engine although obviously you need to warn everybody that the companionway is currently out of action as you're doing it so uh, let's uh, come down the companionway and imagine we're just going to turn starboard starboard and that will bring us or starboard aft to the only aft cabin the doors just uh, hook back like that magnetically which is lovely now you can see we have a, a typical aft cabin as we go into the left you can see we have a nice um a nice cupboard there with a fiddle shelf on top. We have uh, one opening, oh, sorry, two opening windows in here, one up here and one inboard there, both opening with blinds as all the windows on this boat have blinds. On the outboard side, you can see we've got a nice long fiddle shelf for all your bits and pieces. And if I just come down here, you can see what a lovely long berth we've got, nice and wide as well. And uh, quite good headroom actually, although the person sleeping here will be partially under the cockpit sole, but it does come out a little bit, uh, sorry, the, the, that part of the berth just come out a little bit, so I think we'd be okay there for uh, getting in and out, etc. And then it goes straight up here, and you can see we've got lots of uh, sitting room around underneath where the cockpit seating is, so not too bad at all. Nice coloured upholstery as well, very large feeling bed, and uh, once the door's closed, we've got a little lobby there to, uh, to get changed in, etc. privately. And inboard, we have a nice set of shelves there look for all your bits and pieces keep them in their uh, in their proper place very good so let's come out of there and look towards the galley area nice easy galley area fairly conventional layout we've got l shapes here just down from the uh, the companionway so really good for passing your uh, pot noodles cup of soups etc up and down and also good for passing things forward to the to the saloon table too stern of the cooker we've got some drawers here we've got a cupboard cupboard fiddle shelf we've got a nice cooker here uh, with two burners and it looks like we have um i can't open it single-handedly sorry we've got a an oven underneath there but uh, the usual kind of yacht oven affair very nice should do what it says on the tin and then moving forwards you can see that we've got uh, a sink unit here so we've got a nice sink unit under there and we've got an actual running fridge unit under here as well which when they're closed they make up into nice Nice, uh, nice chopping areas, etc., etc. So, pretty good. And then above the galley, you can see we've got an opening window there, which is really handy. Same to port, but this will really help you to get rid of those uh, cooking oils, etc., as you're working. Again, you can see with that we've got uh, blinds fitted to all the windows, so we've got good privacy. We've got blinds fitted to both hatches as well, so uh, really nicely thought out. Lovely. Uh, very nice, decent headroom, I'd say well over six feet. Uh, we've got a moulded, uh, oh actually no, sorry, we've got a softer uh, headlining here, but that looks like it will uh, wipe very very nice and uh, easily. So uh, if we needed to remove it, there's a screw head, so uh, not too bad at all. And then in the middle is moulded and also again, nice and wipeable and unlikely to ever sag. Very good. On the starboard side, we've got uh, forward of the galley, we've got uh, a single berth or a, somewhere for two or three people to sit looks nice and comfortable behind that we've got the window letting uh, light in a couple of cupboards there to keep your bits and pieces in and another uh, fiddle shelf which is lovely i'll just go back to the galley and give you a view of the whole compartment there we go so we've got nice white light upholstery nice i think it's white uh, bulkheads and uh, or maybe slightly off white nice dark wood wood all constant all uh, contrast very nicely but does give us that nice modern feeling really really nice indeed nice color scheme so let's carry on and move forward so we go through this little gap here you can see we've got nice uh, 
wood look flooring here we've got uh, i think three access to the access to the bilge and the keel bolts down there which is really good always nice to get to your to your uh, keel bolts and your bilge and that brings us to the forward cabin nice door to get through nice and easy and once you're in you can see we've got a twin berth there nice and long nice and wide etc we don't have any uh, shelves along the side which is something that uh, maybe they should they could have thought about putting in but uh, other than that you've got plenty of room and without the shelves you've actually got nothing to bang your head in so uh, or head on so maybe there is an advantage to that nice cupboard behind the door they go with a fiddled shelf for your uh, for your mobile, your watch, etc., etc., and a fiddle shelf on top. And then on the after bulkhead on the port side, pretty much the same. Another cupboard, little shelf here, reading lights, and a fiddle shelf there too. Very good. There's a view from the forward cabin all the way aft. So we've got the compression post, we've got the saloon table, we've got the uh, companionway behind that. Really good. Let's exit the forward cabin then. Move into the uh, main saloon again, and you can see we've got uh, L-shaped seating in here, just L-shaped seating. Uh, we have storage uh, beneath, I believe, and uh, behind the, the about here, we've got the battery charger, etc. behind there. But uh, all looks nice and comfy, and certainly comfy for one person to sleep or several people to sit. We've got some nice shelves here, fiddled again, another fiddle shelf in the middle with uh, another window through the hull, and that brings us then nice and cosily back to... The, nearly the after the uh, saloon where we find the uh, heat controls we've got the electrics panel and then at the back of the compartment we've got uh, clock and barometer great we have the uh, nav radio or sorry the um, VHF radio and the GPS unit there just above what would be probably uh, an aft facing uh, saloon table so this is uh, being shrunk as many of them are over time but it's still there and uh, can all serve as a sideboard if you're not using it for a, an actual chart table although there is room in there for all your little bits and pieces your dividers your pencils etc etc very nice so the last compartment in this boat say hello to the heads there we go that will sit back there nicely really nice and easy to get to so we can get from the companion way down and through without bringing moisture and, and uh, wetness into the saloon um, or obviously it's a quick duck in there from the galley or the uh, or the saloon no problem at all and once you're in you can see on the right hand side or the port side a uh, sizable sink actually with a shower attachment which is always nice big couple of drawers underneath and then we've got the, the manual head itself and storage behind fiddle shelf above and an opening window always advantageous in these compartments and uh, nice to see we've got access to the port cockpit locker there actually so you can actually probably crawl in and out of there if you needed or if you just wanted to uh, quickly grab some grease or something then that would be okay too and then on the inboard side we've got a mirror and we've got access to the port side of the engine very nice so this has been tim from Boat Shed Drop Brokers, taking you for a quick tour around the interior of this Hansa 320. Thanks for watching, and we hope you've got a really good idea of what this boat is all about. If you'd like any more information, just go to BoatShedBrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. Take care.